The U.S. Navy says it won't allow one of the world's most important oil trade routes to be disrupted following a threat by Iran to stop ships passing through the Strait of Hormuz. A spokesperson for the Fifth Fleet, based in Bahrain, said the free flow of goods and services through the channel was vital to regional and global prosperity. About 40 percent of the world's oil tanker trade goes through the Strait of Hormuz, which links the numerous oil-producing countries of the Gulf to the outside world. Iran, which has been staging more naval exercises in international waters, has said it will close the strait if the West imposes more sanctions. Further measures are being considered against Tehran's oil and financial sectors because of concern that Iran is trying to develop nuclear weapons. Before that, Iran has threatened to block oil shipments through one of the world's busiest waterways if the West applies fresh sanctions against it. State television reported the announcement by the country's vice president as its navy held war games near the crucial Straits of Hormuz. Now, we're joined by Dr. Syed Mohammed Randi from the University of Tehran to talk about the implications of uh, what's been said here. Uh, doctor, good to see you. Thanks for being with us. Now, if Thank Iran you. does make good its threat, the implications would be huge, wouldn't they? How much damage could it do, considering how much oil Saudi Arabia exports to the United States, for example? Well, I think uh, any act of um, hostility against Iran, and that's basically what an uh, oil embargo would be, uh, would force Iran to take retaliatory measures. And that would indeed create a, a very uh, difficult situation globally because that would mean the halt of oil exports from the Middle East and um, that would have a devastating effect on the global economy. The Iranians of course hope that the Americans don't uh, act foolishly but uh, the Americans uh, do seem to be behaving in a very irrational manner and dragging the region towards a very dangerous situation. Well, there are American warships right now in the Persian Gulf. I mean, this isn't the first time that Iran's issued this kind of threat. did so back in 2008. Um, the uh, U.S. said a blockade like that would be considered an act of war then. I just mentioned that American warships are right there in the Persian Gulf now. Does this bring the West's uh, tense relations with Iran closer to military conflict? Well, it basically depends on the West and um, countries like Saudi Arabia, if they wish to uh, try to prevent Iranians from living uh, uh, like ordinary people in other countries, if they want to make Iranians suffer, then they too will have to face the consequences. Uh, the Iranians are quite capable of closing the Strait of Hormuz, and I think that uh, the Americans know that quite well. Iran's defense capabilities are, are very different from what they were 10, 15, 20 years ago, and I think that uh, Israel's uh, defeat in Lebanon, as well as the uh, recent um, uh, capture of the highly sophisticated American drone by the Iranians, shows the limits of American capabilities. So the best way forward really would be for the United States to seize, uh, to, to, to quit threatening Iran and trying to punish ordinary Iranians and try to behave more reasonably and uh, in a more uh, respectable manner, and uh, the situation in, in the region, tensions uh, in the region would uh, decrease. Doctor, as an aside to this, President Medija has also said that uh, Iran, he thinks, is going to become a major exporter of refined fuels by 2013, despite any further sanctions that might be imposed on his country. Why is he so confident? How can he be so confident? 
Well, Iran is putting an extraordinarily lot of money into the oil sector. And if you recall, just a couple of years ago, when uh, the United States and its allies were thinking of imposing ga sanctions uh, and preventing Iran from receiving gasoline, uh, the Iranians decided to build their own refineries uh, or increase their own production for gasoline. Now you see that Iran, in, in the very near future, is going to become an exporter of gasoline. So the, the potential in Iran is there. The, the, the wealth is there. The oil is there. And the incentive is there. Basically, what the Americans have done is that they forced the Iranians to think locally and try to solve their own problems without relying on, on foreign partners. But uh, the most important thing, really, is that um, uh, for the Iranians, uh, the American behavior is, is uh, creating a, a dangerous situation not for Iran, but for the whole globe. Iran can deal with the United States. Iran is strong enough to stand up against the United States. But the United States is basically uh, pushing things in a direction in which uh, everyone is going to pay a heavy price unless uh, 